All right, we're coming up on 612 here on this cold Wednesday morning. A lot of frost on the windows yeah. coming in this Oh, morning. I saw it on the ground, too. Mm -hmm. It is very chilly to start the day. You want the heat and a hot cup of coffee. Yeah, it is going to be nice and cold. The good news is it won't be that way for long. As we take a look at our current temperatures, 28 degrees right now in Memphis. You can see the surrounding areas from the low 20s into the low 30s, 32 in Corinth. So again, it is uh, nice and chilly across the board here, but let's talk about what it actually feels like with that wind chill. That's what it really is like. Some areas still in the teens, 19 is what it feels like in Jackson and Jonesboro. Here in Memphis, it feels like 22. So no matter where you live, just know if you are headed out for an early commute or sending kids to the bus stop, bundle them up. But layers will be important today. We will see a lot of sunshine. We won't be talking about rain chances today. Early on, it's still pretty chilly at 9 o'clock at 37. Still feels more like 31, but then we start to lose that wind chill as the day unfolds. By noon, 48, and then we head to the low 50s. So it's still cool, but a little more comfortable for us as the afternoon unfolds. And now things will begin to change as we get past today into Thursday and Friday. Temperatures continue to climb, and with that does bring some rain as it brings in moisture from the Gulf. So uh, tomorrow we start to see the chance for widespread showers as early as 7 o'clock, uh, but that really continues off and on throughout the day. Uh, we are going to see those temperatures into the 60s tomorrow, very cloudy, but as we get into the overnight hours, that's when we start to see the chance for these rain chances to really ramp up. Now, here's what's going to happen. We have this warm air coming in from the Gulf. It's bringing that moisture with it. That is going to be met with this area of low pressure and a cold front. So, cold air and warm air, that doesn't really mean good things for your weather, and that's why we have this threat for severe weather, primarily Friday night as we get into the overnight hours and into early Saturday. So, let's take a look at that. Again, we start to see the chance for those showers on Thursday, but really, as we start off Friday morning, uh, Thursday evening, we're already seeing that overnight into Friday. It becomes a little more widespread. As we get through the day Friday, you see it continues. Now, some of that heavier rain looks as though it'll be staying off to our west. I think we could even see the strongest threat staying off to our west and staying to our northwest. However, it is likely, you see it there it went, uh, we could see still some uh, thunder showers, some severe storms, possibly even a spin-up tornado. We just can't rule those out yet. It's too far out. So we're hoping Hoping that that continues to move out of our area. But it's six o'clock Saturday morning. Well, that is time for the St. Jude Marathon. And as you see, it looks a little soggy. So the pavement will be wet and you could be running through the rain, but at least the temperatures will be a little more comfortable as it's expected to be near 60. As we look at your seven day forecast, 52 today, 64 tomorrow with mostly chances of rain in the afternoon by Friday all day, but storms later in the evening. But look at our temperatures. They climb up to the 70s by Saturday, 72. That early rain though gets out of here, clears it out for a relatively nice day, but then our temperatures begin to drop behind that cold front back to 65 on Sunday, so that will be nice. We do have a chance on Monday for some rain as another cold front moves in. Look at the difference in your temperatures Monday to Tuesday as we drop back into the 40s for your highs. We're continuing to keep an eye on that, keeping you up to date on Facebook. Make sure you're following us at Local Memphis. Looking at the roadways, well, we have a couple of issues right now. The first is on uh, 240 eastbound at Poplar Avenue. Uh, that has been there for a little while, about an hour or so. Still not causing any problems, so that does still lead me to believe that it is on the uh, shoulder. We have an accident at Ridgeway and Mount Moriah. Not seeing any problems here as traffic continues to move smoothly, but that is a pretty strong, a pretty large uh, intersection, so hopefully that remains the case. One more accident a little bit further east, Valley Park Drive. This is between Brown Brown Bark Drive and Kirby Valley Drive. That looks pretty residential to me, though. So unless you live in that area, you should be okay. However, you do still have Kirby. You have Riverdale and Winchester as a good alternate. I'm continuing to monitor it, though, with your time saver traffic.